Hello, Kennedy LIC, Superintendent Chad G. And today I have Robert Mendoza. He is our maintenance supervisor. Uh, you and your guys uh, have done a phenomenal job. I don't think people always get to see what you guys do. Uh, when I came into the district a year and eight months ago, I had a lot of ideas and visions, and uh, I think people don't always see that you guys kind of help make those visions come true. You know, uh, one of the things that uh, I also people need to know about you is you were a district uh, auxiliary employee of the year last year, right? Okay. So that was a, a, a tribute to what you and your guys knock out for our faculty and the respect that they have for you. So those are all great things. Um, I, one of the first projects when I came in last year was getting those portables moved out to junior high school. And how much stuff was in those junior high school portables that we had to move out of there uh, and get those ready to move? Yeah, we had about six dumpsters full. <laughs> six dumpsters full. That's what we threw away, not what we kept. Okay, Year, years of, uh, of accumulation, right? And yes. then we moved the portables, and then once we moved the portables, you guys were responsible for renovating those portables. You know? Now, sorry, <laughs> it's all right. And I think people don't realize that the renovation space, what that offered, that opportunity opened up for our students. But you know, it was able to move students into another building because you renovated it that was portable, and that opened up what we call the Wildcat Success Center. And we graduated 22 students out of Wildcat Success Center. And I don't think you even know the impact that y'all have on students. So you know that 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 is an incredible thing. Um, you know, you've also been asked to build a uh, weight room at the junior high school for the, the girls' athletics. You know, don't, don't knock that out. Just, um, we had roofing projects. Well, while we had the roofing projects, you know, there were a whole building full of furniture that had to be moved into a gym to sit there and be able to facilitate the roofs being done. And your guys did all of that. And in the process of having all that moved out, you also renovated your building. Yes, and refloored, uh, you know, in, in the middle of COVID-19, we had three classrooms that were flooded, right? Including the one that we're standing in here today. I don't think people realize that we had a flooding situation and uh, we had a uh, AC unit that w went bad and it flooded the entire area down three classrooms. And you guys have been flooring all summer long, right? Yes, sir. And what we're standing in right now is our, what we're, it was our old uh, band hall at the high school. It became our choir room, and now we have turned it into a multi-purpose room. And thanks to you and your, your staff, we're standing in a, you know, we have brand new flooring in a room that we can use for our dance team, for our cheer team, for our archery, for our robotics team, where we would not have been able to do that before. So can you kind of tell us what, you know, how you and you guys, uh, have gone about going and doing the projects that uh, I, we've come up with for you to do. So, yeah, it's been a challenge from cutting out windows, replacing windows, yeah. taking up carpet, laying the floor. A lot, a lot of bad carpet, old carpet that had to be taken out. The flooring, how much flooring would you estimate that y'all put in since uh, last spring? Uh, about 3,200 square foot. 3,200 square feet of, of new flooring that was going in. In addition to all the other things that have to keep the district running, how many AC units have you replaced this summer? They that I know of that we've done. Okay. Eight, eight yes. just that y'all have done. I think we've done 22 total. I mean, I don't think people really realize what, what the maintenance requirements are. If you, if you own your own house and you know the upkeep in your house, multiply that by six different you know buildings, seven different buildings throughout the district, and uh, this sheer square footage is much more uh, intensive. So, but, uh, 18 rooms they painted. <laughs> 18 rooms have been painted. In fact, there's painting about to go on behind us here uh, to help finish out this room. But we are uh, very thankful for all that you and your staff do. Uh, you, would you like to say something about your staff? And, and oh, I wouldn't be able to get it done without them. Okay. You know, they, I can tell them what we need done, and they can pretty much get it done. Sometimes I, you know, get called off. I want to help them more than I can, but I got to go do other stuff. They sheet rock nine rooms that I know of, and moved ten walls, and not to mention all the furniture that they're having to move. Yeah, you know, all the furniture. just just because of the whole uh, social distancing in the classroom and everything that's being asked to move. This 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 room is all packed up, and we're going to have to move all this stuff around here. That, you know, right now it looks very vacant, but I don't think people see behind us with all the stuff that's going to have to be moved and, and shuffled around. But I said, what you get, you and your guys, your staff do, 
is incredible. It's an invaluable to our district, and we're very glad to have you all in our district. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'm joined by three of our cheer captains for this current year, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Jordan Barnett. Hi, I'm Taylor Aguilar. I'm Allison Smith. And we are going to visit about the all-purpose room that we have created for them. And can you tell me how excited you are or how excited about being in this, this new facility that we are creating for you to give you a, a, a space uh, to call your own, basically? I love it. I really do. I think that in years past, we've always had to struggle to find a practice space, whether it's like the cafeteria or the indoor facility or even just outside. So us having like a, a permanent space is really nice. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that stress anymore. I like uh, having a permanent place so that we can tumble on the mats and stuff in here so that we don't have to tumble in the indoor on the field. And it's really nice because in years before we've been confined to a chair closet that was supposed to be a storage room. And so we've been trying to like get dressed in there, make signs in there and then also like finding a place to practice and not having your tote mats back and forth from place to place. So. Well, now you'll have your own locker room, so yes. that, that'll be nice. And you'll actually have plenty of, we have plenty of storage space over here for you to store the things that you need. So hopefully this is gonna be a much, much better facility for you guys to uh, cheer and create the spirit for our campus. <laughs> so thank y'all very much for participating today and uh, look forward to seeing you to cheer at the first game next week. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Speaking of cheering, next week we host our first home football game on September 11th here at Wildcat Stadium. And we are going to have to implement some new procedures, particularly with our ticketing procedures. Um, all of our ticket sales will be online, so you'll have to purchase your tickets uh, through, through our website. Um, we've partnered with a, a company to help facilitate that. There will be no point of sell tickets at the gate. You will have to sit there and make sure that you purchase them. You'll bring it a, a smartphone and they will scan your phone with your ticket through it. Um, we will have a clear bag policy, making sure that everyone that brings a bag needs to have a clear bag so it can be inspected. And everyone will be needing to wear a mask um, in, when social distancing cannot be uh, maintained and six feet of social distancing in the stands will be required, as well as a mask in all common areas. Um, these are all protocols that UIL has set forth. Uh, there are more that we will be releasing, but to let everybody know that uh, if you plan on buying tickets, you need to go online to buy those, and those will go on sale next Monday, first for our participants' families, and then they will go on for our staff and to the general public on uh, Tuesday. So thank you for your cooperation with that, and we look forward to a great season. And as always, the future is bright. Good to ISD.